Your what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. So Harley Davidson has released their 2023 colors. We're gonna be talking about all the brand new colors that Harley Davidson has released today. Um, this is not including some maybe uh, new motorcycles that they're releasing. It's gonna be later on this month. And um, obviously the CVO colors are not part of this today either. So we'll get to see at the end of the month as well for the launch, which we're gonna be doing a follow up video as well. And if you're looking over here, no, this, this isn't my Rogue Glide, obviously. Um, I just dropped off my Rogue Glide yesterday at the Tour Custom Cycle Shop. The bike's going under the knife. We're going to be installing a brand new cam on it. So that cam install video will be up in a few days as well. Uh, Michael was nice enough to lend me his bike in the meantime. So huge shout out to Mike for that, man. Anyway, so we do have additional news besides just the paint jobs for the bikes for 2023. We got some confirmation that the standard, the soft tail standard is here to stay. Still has a 107. Um, also the 107 on the street glide standard and the road glide standard is still available, which in that video that I made for my predictions, I kind of predicted that it was gonna stay. I was 50-50 and I know everybody out there was saying, oh, well, the standard's gone, the 107s are gone. I said, you know what? they're probably staying for another year or two of that. But on that note, let's just start with the baggers because this is what kind of just stands out to me the most. And then we'll make our way back down to the other rest of the bikes, right? So we're gonna start off with the Rogue Glide standard, obviously. Comes in three colors. Um, we got that vivid black. We got that red line red, which we saw last year uh, for 2022 on the street, Bob. Beautiful, beautiful color. Red line red is really, really nice. Um, I really, I prefer over Billy Red, to be honest. It's uh, it's a bit brighter. It's, it's, it's really nice, man. And then we're also gonna have the third color in there, which is the Atlas Silver Metallic. Really nice color. Um, so obviously that's on the standard uh, with the 107, uh, all chrome components on that. Um, and that's gonna be the same colors for the Street Glide standard as well. The Vivid Black, Red Line Red, and Metallic, uh, Silver Metallic. Um, like I said, standards come with the 107, come with uh, chromed components. We're gonna make our way over to the Road King Special. I, you know what, let's just jump into this color real quick, the Industrial Yellow. I am loving this color, I really am. It stands out but it's not that crazy bright sun yellow. This is a bit more toned down. And I think with having the bike blacked out, it, it looks very, very, very good. It, aesthetically, it just, it, it's very pleasing to the eye. I really like that. Then we're gonna have that bright billiard blue. So obviously a notch up from billiard blue. This is a bit brighter. Um, looks really nice. I really like that as well. And of course we got the vivid black. The Road King, obviously you can only get it in special now. You don't get the option to get, you know, the Road King standard anymore. It's just that one special. Um, but if I had to get a Road King special, it would be that industrial yellow. It, it looks beautiful, man. I really like that. I mean, imagine just adding uh, just different components to that or different, I don't, I don't even know. I mean, I would add some gold accents here and there. That, that would make it pop out really, really nice. I, I love it. I really do love it. Uh, Rogue Glide Special. Obviously, we're going to have a lot of colors on here. So, we're going to have the Vivid Black. Um, Woohoo! Baja Orange. I love it as well. I do love that Baja Orange. Really nice. Then we got that Gray Haze with Chrome Finish. Nice. I, and, all right, this color, the Bright Billiard Blue. Billiard Gray with Chrome Finish. Um, this this is the the special with chrome. Obviously, the special comes in chrome or all blacked out components. But I'm really liking this this two tone gray and blue color here. Kind of reminds me of oh, what team? I'm I'm gonna say just gray and blue because I'm a Yankee fan. It's just gray and blue, but it has that little hint of red to separate both colors, which I do like that pinstripe uh, addition right there to it. Um, I like it. I, I really like it. I prefer my red and black uh, ten times over this, but this this is uh, this is nice, man. It looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know if maybe if it would have been flip flopped around, it might have looked better. 
if the blue would have been with the gray and the gray would have been with the blue i think that might have looked a bit nicer um then we got the vivid black with uh black finish uh we got that atlas silver metallic once again and then we got that prospect gold I don't know how I feel about this Prospect Gold. I like it, but I'm not in love with it. I gotta be honest. I, I I think I'm digging more the Industrial Yellow more than the Prospect Gold right now. I don't hate it, and I don't dislike it. I think I like it, but that Industrial Yellow, I think on on a bagger would have looked even better, man. I really do. Uh, making our way down, obviously we got that two tone color just on the black finish, and then my favorite. Uh, I, I, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon because we got that industrial yellow two-tone with the vivid black with that red pinstripe. And if I was to get a bike for 2023 and it was a, a road glide, it, it would be this or a street glide. It would be this two-tone because my uh, my red and black bike compared to this, mmm, mmm. It's just like at the cusp. It's like neck and neck i i wouldn't be able to choose i think I, it would have to be a toss of a coin because i'm in love with this color and you know what the red pinstriping just dividing both colors just makes it pop out a lot more ah uh, i love it i i really really love this i really do and especially all blacked out because i'm from what i'm seeing here you can only get it with the all black components not chromed out which is fine because I think the, the black and yellow just murdered out with all black. It, it just makes it look. I'm not sure how this would have looked with the chrome components. I think So I think they made a good choice just keeping it with the all black. But I really, really love this. Um, also, another thing. Obviously, we know that the, the specials are keeping the 114. No bigger engines on that, which we kind of knew already that was going to happen. Is it me? Am I crazy? Or... I'm looking at I'm looking at a close shot of the stock seat and the stock seat looks a bit different. Am I crazy or what? Or do you guys see that? Nah, I think I'm crazy. <laughs> it just looks a little different. Um, oh man, I, I cannot get over this color, man. This is this, this oh my god, just turning this bike around. Uh, th this will be my bike. This, I honestly think if, if, if it was put, if I didn't have my red and black road glide, I would pick this bike right now. Good job, Harley. Good, good job with that. Uh, making our way over to the street glide. The street glide is going to have the same exact colors. Um, you know what? I, I really, that Baja orange, man, I think the Baja orange would have looked a lot better with the all black components. So that's something I wish they could have done as well. Um, I don't love it with the chrome components. I think with the all black components it would have looked a lot better. But that bow orange is really, really, really nice. I am really, really liking that a lot. And then obviously the same colors that we just mentioned for the Rogue Glide. Uh, Rogue Glide Limited, we're going to have basically all the same colors. So we're going to see we're going to have the vivid black, obviously. Gray Haze, uh, Silver Fortune, that's okay. <clears throat> and then we're going to have that, that, uh, that bright Billiard Blue and Billiard Red. Um, that we got on the street glide and road glide, but this was reversed. You see, this is what I was talking about. I think that uh, with the reverse concept looked better. I think I do like it better this way. Um, I do. It looks way better. So you're gonna have that option on the road glide limited uh, with the colors being opposite. I think it looks a lot better that way. Uh, vivid black with black finish, obviously. And then we're gonna have the prospect gold uh, with black finish, so that's a two-tone color that looks really really good. I like the two-tone So I think if if they would have done the two-tone with the prospect gold on the street glider road glide um, It would look a lot better uh, With the black as well just adds a bit more to it makes it look more special uh, <clears throat> We'll get the ultra limited. Uh, we're gonna have that with the red line red um, looks clean same colors as the uh, Rogue Glide Limited as well. So nothing crazy there. And then we got the Rogue Glide and Street Glide ST. Obviously vivid black every year. We got that uh, special color. Uh, like in the Lowrider Rush, that vivid black is always gonna be it. 
But then we're gonna have this white sand pearl, and I am loving this. Let me tell you, I'm loving this white sand pearl. It's really, really nice. It's, it's not a bright white, it's really toned down. Um, it has like a nice hazy look to it. And it, you know, it, it those bronze components and the bronze wheels really add a lot of character to it, man. Uh, I think a lot of people are gonna be getting this bike in this white pearl this year, because it just looks really, really clean. I really, really like this, man. I really like where Harley's heading with this. Same thing for both the Street Glide and the Road Glide. So those are all the baggers, right? We're gonna make our way now to the, uh, da, 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 da. let's go to Adventure Touring real quick. Let's just stop in there. We get the Pan America 1250, all black, vivid black. But then we got the special, which comes in um, vivid black. Uh, you're gonna have that, that gray haze. Um, looks nice. And then the industrial yellow white sand looks really, really cool. Uh, we got vivid black with the lace wheels. Um, same colors, just with lace wheels. So um, pretty cool. Um, last year, I was a huge fan of the blue. Uh, what was, was that reef blue? I'm not, I'm not, I forgot what exact color it was, but it was a really nice blue. Um, let's go to let's go to the cruiser. So we got we're gonna have all the soft tails on here, right? And let's go back to talking about the soft tail standard. I said it was here to stay with the 107 is here. And they did go ahead and they changed the tank graphic on here. So we got that red tank graphic. I love it. I, I think it looks really clean. It looks really nice. It adds a little pop to it. Standards are great platform, guys. If if you wanna if if you're if you wanna just a raw soft tail, you wanna build it out to anything. I think the standard is like the bike to look at. Throttle Blip has actually done a great job with his build, so huge shout out to you, homie. Got some good taste right there. That bike is looking killer, but it's a it's a great bike, man. If you um, you know, and it's the same thing as a Street Bob, just stripped down. Um, but if you're gonna be doing paint and changing everything around wheels at that and everything you're, you're better off going with a soft tail standard you're at 14,399 compared to the 16,599 on the street bob um so have that in mind always have that in mind if you're gonna get a bike i, I know sometimes we buy these bikes and we start off with an idea of what we're going to go with the build and then it goes somewhere else but you know really sit down think thoroughly take your time thinking about your build and, it, and if you're really going to strip the bike down you're better off going with a standard um so for the street bob moving on we got the vivid black with that uh reddish orange tank same thing as last year really cool i'm a huge fan of that but i thought they would change it for this year i'm not sure why they're this might be the third year continuing with the same color um i think they could have changed the graphics by now um red line red same as last year love that color then we got the industrial yellow love it i'm loving that industrial yellow man uh, maybe I went to the Fat Bob, uh, Vivid Black, looks good, Red Line Red, looks good, and that Gray Haze, um, looks okay. Uh, and then the Low Rider S, obviously, Vivid Black, and then with that White Sand Pearl, absolutely beautiful. Uh, same colors on the Low Rider ST, Vivid Black, and that White Pearl. Damn, that Low Rider ST, with that Sand Pearl, right now is looking dope. I gotta give a huge shout out to FXDLS Brooklyn as well because he did up his Dyna really nice, all white with the black flames and something like this on this bike will look absolutely insane. Not saying go copy him, but be creative, do, do, do something cool if anything, uh, but that's really cool. So shout out to you homie, that, that, that's like a real homie, we ride together and we have shared a lot, a lot of stories together, so hope to see you soon homie. Uh, making our way over to the Fat Boy, Fat Boy we got the David Black. We got the bright billiard blue, which looks really nice on there. I like that. And that gray hay silver fortune. I'm not sure if I like that too much. Um, okay, heritage classic. We got vivid black with chrome finish. We got Alice Silver. <clears throat> eh, not crazy how that looks. Billiard with the blue. Mm, I mean, on the heritage, it looks good. It looks classic on here, more of a classic look. Then we got the black finish. Uh, then we got the Prospect Gold, and then the blue and gray with the with the black finish. Finish, finish. Looking good. Um, what else? What else do we have here? Let's go to Sport now. Something I found weird in Sport is that we only have the Sportster S. I'm not sure why the nicer is out on here. Maybe they're going to be changing a few things up. Um, maybe they just didn't want to release the, 
new colors on that bike yet um but it's weird that it's not on the website it's very 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 weird uh but i do gotta say that this bright biller blue i'm liking it on the sports rs i'm liking it harley i'm liking it gray haze it's nice i'm just not crazy about this gray haze white sand pearl looks good and then obviously that vivid black but uh i mean but the vivid black to me is like my favorite color in that bike it's just it's beautiful especially with those gold uh those bronze uh, bronze accents makes the bike look pop out it makes the bike look pop out it makes the bike pop out but that bright billiard blue i'm loving it. it it looks really cool especially if you can add more little accents of that blue here and there um that'll look pretty cool uh, this bike, I wanna, I took this bike out on, on, a, on a test ride and I liked it and I, I, I feel like I need to spend some more time on it to really dig down deep and see it's, uh, I just wanna, I don't know, I wanna spend more time on it and just, cause I wasn't crazy about it, that's what it was. I, I was on it for a few minutes obviously on a little demo ride and I mean, you can't really get the full experience with my demo ride. And it was just something about it that I didn't want to, I didn't want to go out and be like, you know what, I want this bike right now. Like, I, I really liked it, but I didn't get the huge wow factor. I love the technology that it comes with on the digital analog. I love the looks of the bike. I mean, the design is absolutely be, you know, out of this world. I think it looks awesome. But as far as the ergonomics of me on the bike was something that I, I wasn't drawn to it too much. And that's why I want it, I, I want to give it a fair shot. I want to spend more time on it. And, and really put down some miles on that bike and put it to the test because it's a it's a cool looking bike man it's one of the coolest designs i've ever seen i gotta be honest um and that's gonna be it i mean we got also what have we got to mention we got to mention the trike but um i guess we could talk about this trike real quick and see what what colors are on here um <clears throat> okay uh vivid black alice silver blah 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 gray haze and then that um that prospect gold <clears throat> i mean i'm pretty sure uh the cbo is gonna make a nice color for the trike this year again and i think that's gonna be it we got to learn that the 107 is still here to stay for another year um and then we got to know that the specials and the sts are also keeping the same that's one thing i forgot to mention is that the sts are still going to have the 117 and then the specials obviously i mentioned already with the 114 so no huge changes there um i know you know we were all hoping that maybe the sts would have a bigger platform a bigger uh bigger engine this year but i mean it's fine for now man it's it's uh I don't know. Drop your thoughts down below. What, do, do you guys feel like the STs should have a, a bigger engine in it? Being that the, the CVOs have the 117 already, who knows? Maybe the one the CVOs will get a bigger engine this year. Who knows? Um, that's gonna be it, guys. If you want to see more content like this, more Harley news, more information, you're definitely in the right place. Like I said, uh, I'm gonna be heading over to the shop tomorrow. We're gonna be installing the new cam on my 2021 rogue glide my 2020 lowrider s is still in the shop uh, that that's its own discussion video guys we got a huge upgrade coming for that bike so that bike will no longer be a 114 just i just i'm just throwing it out there right now so my lowrider s will no longer be a 114 so what what are we working on bike is there it's all, it's all taken apart we're just waiting for a few things to come in to put it all together so if you want to see where i'm going with that Subscribe, hit that bell button, and um, my FXR here, you can't see, but not in the picture right now. Uh, yeah, don't forget that January 18th is a big launch. That's when we might see maybe if they're coming out with a new bike, we're gonna see all the brand new CBO colors that day, and anything new that Harley has to offer for this year is a huge year. It's 120th anniversary, guys, and it's gonna be a special year. I think we started off the year right with these nice colors. I'm really digging these colors. Oh, he's doing a good job so far. So the 18th, I cannot wait to see some new stuff. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I will be sharing my thoughts with you guys as always. And that's gonna be it. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe, enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.